With groups introduced into the console edition of Unturned, people are coming back into the game. To help newer players out, I've put together a tier list of the skills from D to S tier. There is no F tier since none of the skills hurt you for upgrading them. I try to only talk about each one in a, only a few sentences, so let's get started. I'm going to start with D tier by introducing the random skill. The random upgraded a mixed bag with various uses. There are four different possibilities. There is Olympic, which lets you throw farther. This makes grenades and stuff more accurate, but you'll never really need this, so it's D-tier. Next, Splatterific is a really bad upgrade. It makes it impossible to see in some cases. This is the only perk I'd rather not have than actually have. I would put this on the F-tier, but we don't have one. Next, Harden makes you 25% more immune to zombies. D-tier. Finally, the most useful, Flight. Flight is actually decent, since it can help cars out of stuck positions and can give away other players' positions when they are flinging zombies across town. I'd give it B, since it's actually useful. In total, the random skill is D tier, but if you go for flight, consider it B tier. Diving is barely useful. There are very few underwater areas. The only good use is when you're PvPing and you submerge yourself underwater. However, it's still D tier. Toughness is pretty much a waste of points. It's supposed to reduce flinching, but I never noticed flinching. It also reduces grayscale, but that just isn't very useful. It may even make it harder to tell if you're injured. D tier. Immunity, not great. It makes you take less virus damage. Virus damage is not a huge issue in Unturned. D tier. Warm Blooded. Warm Blooded is a downgrade survival skill. Warm Blooded makes you less hungry when you're warm. Just put points in survival instead. D tier. Next up is C tier. C tier is like the area where once I have the main perks, like S tier perks and A tier perks, I will move on to C tier. Just a quick note for diving, I forgot about the scope breathing when proning. This helps when aiming, so I actually put diving into the C tier instead of D tier. Sneaky Beaky. Sneaky Beaky gives you more stealth. This makes looting easier, but not by much. It's not really useful on players and only applies to zombies, so it's just C tier. Vitality. Quicker health regen with full food and water. I almost put this in D tier. But passive healing is really nice to have. Getting health passively faster is useful. I'd give it a C tier. Strength. I may just be dumb, but I take too much fall damage. Strength gives less fall damage and heals bleeding and broken legs faster. It's like having a little bit more defense when falling. C tier. Cooking. High quality food is nice, but not essential. It can really help when low on food. I'm going to give it C tier for its support bonus, but don't get this first. Fishing. Also don't get this first. Fishing is pretty good in combination with cooking. Catching fish then making a sandwich is decently valuable. I'm only giving it C tier at most though. B tier. B tier is like average of the pack. B tier I would get over C tier on average, but it's really just niches, just like what you would prefer rather than what you actually need. First up is agriculture. The farming skill is decent. Agriculture is the best out of the cooking slash agriculture slash fishing trio. Renewable food is really good. If you need to avoid towns, this is the best way to live on your own. The extra harvest will save you. B tier. Survival. Use less food and water. Sounds pretty nice. Spending less time on food and water is great. Solid B tier when deciding what to upgrade. Parkour. Parkour is either your favorite or not. Most people ignore parkour or upgrade it first. Parkour has two main purposes. The first is to help you dodge by jumping and the other is to make it so you can jump enough so you can get over the fences in Washington. Being able to jump onto a fence is why it's in B tier. This can make you a god in Seattle on Washington, otherwise it's just not the best. And finally, for B tier, outdoors. Outdoors just makes you chop trees faster. This can save you time when building. More importantly though, this is a non-violent way to grab XP. Even though I prefer farming zombies, farming trees is okay while getting wood in the process. Probably a B tier skill. Second to best is A tier. These are ones that you like need to get, but there's just some that are a little bit better. Overkill. Overkill is really good. Maxed out overkill with a knife can one shot players. However, this is only limited to melee hits. Good luck stabbing someone with a shotgun. This is still an A tier skill though. Dexterity. Faster reload and hammering. Guns are king in unturned. Being able to melt megas and reload your gun in a fight is super helpful. Dexterity is A tier for increasing your potential with a gun. Healing. Healing makes healing items better. 
Healing mid-fight is great. You need to heal as fast as possible. Healing does that. A tier. And finally for A tier, Mechanic. Mechanic lets you heal cars and bases faster. People will try to blow up your cars, but if you have someone in the car healing it at max speed, the car isn't blowing up. A tier. Before we move on to S tier, if you're enjoying the video, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Now moving on to S tier. S tier is the best of the best. These are ones that you just may as well get before you get any other ones. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter increases the accuracy and stabilizes the recoil. This is amazing. Your bullets actually go in a straight line for once. S tier. Get sharpshooter whenever playing PvP. Crafting an engineer. I don't really know the exact differences between crafting and engineer, but think of them as this. Crafting is for like general items, while engineer is for odd miscellaneous items like C4. You need these to build and raid, S tier by nature. And finally, what I consider the best, exercise and cardio. Exercise and cardio are both about sprinting. Exercise makes you run better, while cardio is the regeneration of your sprint. Choose between better running or better stamina regeneration, they're both good. Exercise is the first skill you should get when you spawn in. Alternate between exercise and cardio to receive the best early game. And that was all the skills in Unturned. Now that was very, very, very brief. I just said the information and then just kind of said what I thought about it. This is not a very long video, just so you guys can kind of really quickly learn the information and get in there. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I will do skill sets next, so like police officer, firefighter, why they work together, why they don't work together, and how you should probably organize it around the PvP setting, since now we know that you can only have six people in the group, so that's cool. Or at least I think you can only have six people. So if you're wanting that video, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.